Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Easy As That. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix corrupted exports from iMovie. Now in particular, I'm going to show you how to save these to your photo library without it corrupting. Now it's a sign that your video is corrupting if the length is different in both iMovie and Photos, clips that should be muted aren't, and vice versa, clips get interrupted before they even finish, and finally clips are in the wrong place altogether. Now for this, you're going to need screen record enabled on your iPad. So if you don't know how to do this, check out my video link in the description showing you how. Now open your iMovie app and tap edit. Now, go into the Media tab and select Backgrounds. Once you've done that, go into the Solids menu and select Any Color. Now you need to add it to the very beginning of your movie, just like I've done here. Now, click Done and then go into the Big Screen Play button down the bottom. Now later when we edit this in Photos, the video won't actually start off with this blank screen here. It's just so at the moment we don't get the screen record function in and also the functions at the top and bottom as soon as we click play the video starts so it doesn't actually look like a screen recording and looks like you've really exported it. Now we can click pause and bring our video back to the start. Now when we swipe down from the top right hand corner you'll see a screen record option. It looks like a circle with another circle inside it. Now if you long press that you have the option to turn your microphone off. Make sure that it's off or else the screen record will also hear what you're saying. Now, just tap it to turn it on. Your screen record will now start in 3 seconds. We can now play our movie from start to finish. Now once you're finished, do the same thing. Swipe down from the top right hand corner and then just tap the screen record function to turn it off. Now once you've ended your screen recording, go into photos and then tap on the screen recording. Next, select edit. Now go into the cropping settings and then align this with the video. Now go back to the film settings at the very top and use these bars to adjust when the actual film starts. For me, I'm going to make mine start just here. And next up, edit out the bits where you actually end the screen recording, just like this. And now we can click done in the top right hand corner and select either save video or save it as a new clip if you'd like. And there you go. Now you've got a non-corrupted version of your iMovie all in your photo album and ready to export it or just keep it if you'd like. 